welcome to my profile today. I will show you how I put up a line for Tickerpart on one of the flows I use most of the time. It's this uh, inline float uh, 0 0.3. In my opinion is a smaller float you use as more fish you will catch. So 0 0.3, 0 0.5 you will catch a lot on this. And normally I use 0 0.12 on the main line. So I can start with, we have uh, three rubber band on the stem, what is uh, carbon fiber. I like that, it's a little bit slower in, in what uh, metal is. Uh, the shot I use, I can start to speak a little about shots I use. The shot I use is uh, the Bella Bane. Uh, yeah, the book, the best one. Soft, heavy, very good. Sticks nice to the line, not damage the line. All the quality you just want to have on it. And you get 80, 80 grams per, per box, so it's, it's quite, quite good for the price. Of course, you have also the Guru. Guru is a very nice uh, shot too, but you get them in quite small amounts, so they are not better than Bellabane. I actually think Bellabane is the best one you have on the market. You have also the the Preston. Preston is a very good shot too. And more or less a little bit too soft. It it's not sticks so very well to the line, and still the Bellabane sticks very well and not damage it. So. I've come to this is the absolutely best one after you not get this anymore this is a very old one it's we have to go back to the beginning of the 90s that's actually old lead and it's a uh, we can compare them it's a number eight uh, number eight from Bilbanee and number eight from the old lead it's actually yeah it's more or less I don't know if you can see this but it's more or less one size down it will be a number 11 today actually a number 10 i don't know if you can see it it's very, very small so but that old nostalgia i have the old lead one i don't use them it's not allowed to use them anymore so i just have them okay let's put some lead on the line I should have around 10 of this number 10 so it's just to stick them on if you see here I have um, this tube here it's uh, a little bit under one meter with water so I can uh, testing out all the flows before I go out so I don't need to use <coughs> all unnecessary time to make my my lines on the pick, I can use them here straight. It's a very good help to have a, a tube so you can do this at home and it's gonna be 100% precisely. That will save you time on the pick. So you not have this more or less, but you are straight out. That's quite important. When you're fishing competition, you don't have too much time to deal with all this. You need to be finished, ready, ready to go. Now I first put them on the line just to show you how I use the tube there. <coughs> and uh, the little tool here is just a totally normally tool from the tool shop. and very thin in the end so you can handle these small 12 shot and all what you need to use it's not something special so we are there very soon now Let's 
let's see how it's how it's working in the water. So now you see it's perfectly balanced. Actually, it could have a little bit more, but that would be good because the line drags it a little bit down, so that will be the same as a shot. So what I do now, I in the end. I make my loop for the hook line. Make the hook tie. So, oh, the loop tie. So, and we take out this there. And then I measure one meter. I always have around ninety centimeters from the the first shot to the to the hook. And the first shot I put with the knot there. So, and the next one. A little bit over 10 centimeters and the next one then now you can measure so you are sure you not go longer than longer but shorter and shorter between the shots that's quite important to get a good presentation so use the last shot so be sure you all the time go shorter and shorter if you not can see it that's a quite nice way to do it you see this is the last one over here, if you can see it. This is the last one and this is the oldest one. So now we will have shorter and shorter from the hook. The longest one, shorter, shorter, shorter. That's very important because it will fall like a, if you know fly lines, it's when you're presentating your, your bait on the, on the bottom. So you can all the time go back and see if you're not sure. Yes, it's a little bit shorter. A little bit shorter. Now I go very much shorter. So, so, and there. So here, 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 and here. So that that's the way I do it. I don't know if you can see, if you can see them here. So they get. Longer and longer and longer. And that's because of the presentation when you go down in the water, it falls slowly in the end with the hook. So that's basically finished. Just to put it up on a winter and good to go. And the next one. Thank you for watching.